Bollywood actress Gayatri Joshi was photographed sitting in the middle of the road, appearing to be in tears after being involved in a catastrophic automobile accident that claimed the lives of two Swiss citizens on the Italian island of Sardinia. Joshi was allegedly riding in the passenger seat of a Lamborghini that her 54-year-old husband, hospitality and real estate mogul Vikas Oberoi, was allegedly driving last week while on an Italian supercar tour. On a one-lane road, the two were concealed behind a huge white camper when a red Ferrari sped up to pass the RV in front of it. The Lamborghini abruptly sprinted out from behind the motorhome and into the Ferrari's path, shocking dash cam footage revealed. This caused a massive collision that flipped the RV and sent the cars careening off the road. Marcus and Melissa Crowley, two Swiss nationals, were unable to flee the red car, which likewise overturned upside down and started fire right away. Despite miraculously avoiding harm, Oberoi, 54, and Joshi, 46, were reportedly visibly rattled after the collision, according to local reports. According to Indian news channel NDTV, Joshi, who was spotted sitting on the runway after the horrific collision, was observed crying as she looked at the car's wreckage hidden in the bushes. Oberoi, meanwhile, was spotted staring on in shock while keeping his hands on his hips. Her spouse may spend up to seven years in prison if charged with and found guilty of double road homicide, for which Collieri's prosecutors have now begun an inquiry. In an interview with India's Free Press Journal, Gayatri, who played in the Bollywood hit Swades, said, Vikas and I are in Italy. Here there was an accident, multiple vehicle collision. By God's mercy, we are both in perfect health. One of the wealthiest guys in India is reportedly Oberoi. He owns seven luxury cruise ships in addition to a sizable luxury hotel resort company that runs dozens of establishments in India and elsewhere. The businessman also serves as the CEO of Oberoi Realty, a Mumbai-based developer of opulent homes. Local media reported that Mr. and Mrs. Crowley, a Swiss couple from Wallace Ellen, a town close to Zurich, were burned to death as a result of the horrifying occurrence. Mr. Crowley was employed by the family-owned logistics company that held his name and had locations in Portugal, Belgium, and Switzerland. The motorhome's passengers, a 61 and 62-year-old Selva de Val Gardina couple, were hurt and sent to the hospital. We were slouched in our seats. We were stunned into silence for a brief period. I then asked my wife if she was all right as I gazed into her eyes. The RV's occupant, Lorenzo M., informed the Italian news organization Lunione Sarda that she nodded. The pair managed to escape the car by squeezing themselves out from behind the seats. We believed we were in hell when we first emerged, he said. According to Bild, the Ferrari was on fire and screams could be heard all around the crash scene. The destroyed car may be seen on images at the side of the road. The camper van is seen obstructing both lanes of traffic as Oberoi's blue Lamborghini Huracan is seen extensively damaged along the side of the road, surrounded by a cloud of smoke and dust. Some of the sports vehicles that were not engaged in the incident can be seen parked along the wayside in another footage of the aftermath. An ambulance staff is also there at the scene, and there are people gathering next to the destroyed Lamborghini and the flipping camper van. Black smoke is coming from the blazing Ferrari. The police have taken possession of the three vehicles' wreckage as part of their ongoing investigation. In the South Sardinian municipality of San Giovanni Suerju, the 195, Solsitana State Road was being used by the supercars. The couple had left Forte Village and was traveling toward Mores, according to the Italian daily newspaper Corriere della Sera. In the Sardinia Supercar Experience event, which began in Talada and was scheduled to end in Albia, all passengers of the opulent vehicles reportedly participated, according to Italian media. The participants travel the island in Lamborghinis and Ferraris over the course of a few days, stopping at vistas and spending the night in opulent hotels. The trip will cost travelers £10,409 if they drive their own vehicle. For £21,515 the organizer will rent out a Ferrari SF90 for the duration of the journey.